over the course of the summer, we have worked with Ari to implement full support of the Ari M mirror camera, and we are displaying it here at IBC. You can also, if you saw this before the show was over, you could go to the Ari booth and see the RCP from Skahoy demonstrated with an Amira camera. We have the same implementation right here and I want to give you some insights into why this is exciting. Because the Ari Amira camera can be shaded with a Sony RCP but only like one third of the features or something like that inside. Of course you have iris control and master black control over the Sony SSCP protocol but Ari Amira has so many amazing features built into the camera that you want to unlock and that's the perfect job for a Skahoy RCP because it's so configurable. So, to give you that example, we have the RCP set up right here for live uh, production. This is um, the iris joystick, of course, of the camera. We have master black knob here. This is all standard, like what we would do on an RCP map to a different camera. Up here, we have access to uh, color uh, grading parameters. In the camera, you see uh, power RGB, slope RGB. We have saturation tint over here. and as we customarily do, we use this as a menu selector. So now we have offset, still saturation and tint, and then we have slope on the lower uh, keys right there. I actually think if we uh, press the, uh, the shift key, no, that was not the case. If we go here and press the shift key, you can see that the shift key on a unit will typically enable additional features that are uh, hidden in, in uh, you know, behind. And you see also how nicely the encoders, they are colored and, well, I just love that. Now, uh, here we have uh, sensitivity, we have time units, uh, shutter speed and um, they have two different shutter speed modes so you can either have it in time units or if you change the time units you see like this to angle then it switches over to angle so that's something you just change on this encoder knob. We have color temperature, ND filter selection, frame rate and all these things. Now um, that's just to show you how this is mapped down on the RCP. We have white balance, uh, automatic white balance right there etc. Now, the, the thing that really opens up for very special features in the Amira is when we go to playback mode. So in playback mode, we have access to starting and stopping recording in the camera. Very unique, very sought for feature in the Ari Amira because they can do local recording on the camera and they would like to be able to, in, to, to activate and deactivate that feature on a distance. So now the camera is actually recording on the internal media. And when we have stopped the recording from the camera, we are now able to do playback. So um, this button will enable us to go between playback mode and uh, the normal mode, while this one will play the clip. We have pause over here. We have uh, jog shuttle uh, features up here, you see. We have uh, mapped the encoders to jog one frame at a time, uh, 10 frames, 30 frames, etc. We can set the playback speed on these knobs. And down here you can skip forth and back between the clips you have stored inside the camera. And of course, if you want to go back to live mode, you can press this button and we are now in playback mode again. The RCP will work for normal live production as it did just before. So this is an almost complete and full implementation that we have been working with Ari to complete. And we are very excited to show it here at the IBC and so is Ari. So we are very proud about this.